first opened in 2001. We're at American Family Field in Milwaukee. Today, a matchup of division rivals at opposite ends of the standings between the Pittsburgh Pirates and the Milwaukee Brewers. It's baseball on the show, and it's coming up next. Eric Lauer, an Ohio-born left-hander, gets the starting nod. Dan Plezak, what's the word on him? Well, this guy's kind of unique. How about a five-pitch repertoire that he has? That gives him a lot of options for both righties and lefties. And if he's on, he could be really tough to hit. So now, here is Kevin Newman. He will lead this one off today. Leading off the afternoon for Pittsburgh, the second baseman, Kevin Newman. Now the pitch. Newman. And that's in there for a strike. Dan Dero, these Brewers, as they begin play here this afternoon, they come in not exactly setting the world on fire as they've dropped five of their last eight ball games. Yeah, Maddie, they lost last game only by one run. Those are the tough ones. But I'm sure they've looked at the film, made a few adjustments, and let's see if they can give a better effort today. Robertson is there, and he makes the catch for the out. Not exactly. A chance here to check out the starting lineup for the visiting Pirates. Danny, who stands out to you? Matt, I'm going to keep an eye on Brian Reynolds. He's certainly a guy to watch out there in this lineup. Everything he does makes them click. When he's swinging the bat well, they just go. So no need to wait as here he is. As he'll try to hold back on the swing, but he went around for the first strike. He'll check in here at 277. A dozen home runs and 38 runs batted in. Into the windup, here comes the 0-1. Swing and a liner. And that is down as that could be two bases. Around first, digging for two. Arms pumping, he's hustling for third. The relay, and he is in there with a one-out triple. That's his fourth That's triple of the year, so the he's used to this. He rounded first, eyeing the ball, and he knew he was going for three. Great hustle and a great piece of hitting. Key Brian Hayes digging in now. Fouled off. Great chance to drive in a run here in the early going. Breaking ball. That's in the dirt as he takes a ball. And there are the umpires assigned to this one. Calling balls and strikes is Mr. Mike Fillmore. Hey, d -Roll, Mike Fillmore, one of the most consistent umpires throughout the league. Both pitchers and position players love this guy. Yeah, I think one of the best in the business. How I judge a good teammate is every day he opens that door. Is he consistent? Can I count on him? Mike Fillmore is the exact same way behind the dish. Hey, after that extra base hit, things could go awry. He didn't. He battled right back in the zone with a nice executed pitch. In there. Base hit, and that ought to get the run in from third. Boy, that has to feel good as a hitter, d -Roy. You get that base hit to give your team the lead. You have to feel good when you get down to first base. Yeah, it's just a nice approach. You see him turn to his boys right there and get fired up with the dugout. 100%. Not trying to do too much. Able to quiet the moment down, center himself, and come through in a big spot. That'll bring up Bobby Dahlbeck as he'll take a look at a high strike that time. It's nothing in one. One in, one out, and one on here in the inning. Oh, and one count and the pitch. And it's one and one. You know he wants that on the mound, especially if it would have made the count 0 oh and 2. Didn't get it though, so now you have to make another quality pitch on one and one. To second for one, on to first as they get the double play to get him out of the inning. 
One in the inning for the Pirates on a couple of hits. JT Brubaker gets the ball in game three of the series. Dan Plezak, what do you got? Yeah, Matt, not a real good performance in his last one. Wasn't able to get out of the fourth inning. Was fortunate to come away with a no decision. He's a much better pitcher than that, and I think he's expecting a much better performance in this one. So here is Tyrone Taylor. He'll lead things off here in the bottom half of the first. The center fielder, Tyrone. Here's the pitch. As he'll swing and lift a fly ball to right center, Polanco has the best view of this one, so he'll take it for the first down. And with that, time to take a glance at the starting nine for these Brewers. Who stands out to you, Danny? Matt, they're looking to get a lot more out of Travis Shaw. He had only two home runs last month, which is uh, not good for a guy that hits in the middle of the order. They're going to need a lot more production and a lot more power from him moving forward. They expect it, and so do I. Into the box, Daniel Robertson. Hey. She'll take a look at a slider here that finds the zone for strike one. And guys, as we take a look at the Pirates coming into this afternoon, they come in looking to make it two in a row as they were winners last time out. Yeah, Matty, this team is starting to really come together. They won last night. They're playing really nice. I expect much hey. more of the same today. That's in there, and he's deep in the hole now, 0-2. The offensive game plan today is certainly to see the ball up. This guy is known on the mound for sinker changeup combination. He's going to try and establish down in his zone. Oh, and it sailed right over his head at first. That is good. This could have been much worse for the first baseman here. He goes up for the throw, leaving his feet, and exposes himself to a potentially devastating collision. He's lucky he didn't get taken out right here. And that'll bring up Keston Hura. As he'll take a look at a pitch too low, it's ball one. 268, the average for him coming in. 13 home runs, 56 runs batted in. Sent on the ground out to second. And that gets through for a one-out base hit. He'll hold it second, and there are two aboard now. I think the whole ballpark knew he was going to go with the sinker right there to induce the double play. The only problem is, is he can't guarantee it's going to be hit right at one of his infielders. Tough luck. Daniel Vogel backs next. As he'll take a look at a slider that can't make it back to the corner. It's ball one. And he's a guy looking to break out in a big way. Hasn't been getting the results he or his club have been hoping for. Here comes the 1-0. Nope. A time to start making some quality pitches. He finds himself in a tough spot behind an account with guys on base. Robertson on second. Hira at first, one gone. Strike call, two and one. Wow, I can't believe the hitter took that one. The pitcher absolutely got away with a hanger. Oh, and not an easy pitch to lay off of, but he did somehow, and he's got it to three and one. You fight so hard to get into these type of counts. You can't let this pitch get away from you. You have to keyhole something middle of the plate. And the count will be full. David Bednar is forced onto the mound now following the injury. For Pittsburgh, number 51, David Bednar. And he goes.
Goes the other way as this is hit high and deep out to straightaway left. Reynolds is back to the warning track, and he's able to put it away for the second out. And he'll make it up safely to third, so they're at the corners now with two men out. So here is Avisayo Garcia, and you see what he's done in recent action. Obviously seeing the ball well right now. First pitch on its way. Here's the 1-0. 2-0 now. 2-0 count, runners at the corners. You can bet he's looking for something to drive right here. There's a good chance he gets something to hit, too. Hit in the air down the right field line. On the move is Polanco. He's there to track it down, and that'll end the inning. Brewers strand a couple. They still trail 1-0. Next batter to the plate, Brian Goodwin. Hitting 500 in the series so far. Four for eight. Wheels and deals. Here's the first pitch. Now a ball lined toward the alley and left center. Robertson arranged to his left as he tracks this one down in left center for the first down. So here's how the Brewers are positioned defensively. And guys, the things I want you to focus on today, one of them being this manager loves to shift. He has the pitch and step to trust to be able to manipulate his defense to try and get as many outs and play the numbers as much as he can. Here's Gregory Polanco. As the first pitch oh, misses to him, it's ball one. In his career against this pitcher, pretty average results, four for 15. Now the 1 0 is taken no below the zone for a ball. Hey, you want to talk about being in a zone? This guy's been raking lately, and it all starts with his pitch selection. Two great takes, and he's almost daring the pitcher to just go ahead and challenge him. Two and one after the foul ball there. Bases are empty, one man out. Three balls and a strike to Gregory Polanco. Three and one pitch. And a fastball misses there. Ball four. The catcher. Jacob Stallings will be the next hitter. And he's a guy looking to break out in a big way. Hasn't been getting the results he or his club have been hoping for. He comes set. Here's the nothing and nothing pitch. I know he stole a strike right there, but he better be careful with that curveball. That's coming across and catching a lot of plate. And if he stays back, he's going to drive that thing with some serious authority. The 0-1 on its way. Runner at first here, one man out. And it's fouled away. Ready with another 0-2. Grounded to the right. And that finds its way through for a base hit. And that runner will hold up at second with two aboard now. 
You know, D-Roll, the old school thinking sometimes is when you're going through a bad streak like this guy, any way you can get on a little jam shot, even though it wasn't pretty, maybe this could get this guy finally going. Yeah, I can't tell you how good that had to feel right there. There's moments where you slap that donut off your bat, you don't even want to walk to home plate. You're scuffling so bad. O'Neill Cruz comes on with one gone here as he looks at a called strike one. He comes into this one at 248. No home runs as of yet and four RBIs. Here's the 0 1 pitch. Ball. Yeah, ball, one strike. Two balls. Hey, lots of guys get too aggressive in a spot like this, but he's done a nice job of gaining some count leverage. Look for him to put the ball and play hard. Ball strike that time, and it's even at two and two. two well, two he strike. snapped that breaking ball off really nice. He'll do well to keep putting it there. Slowly hit to first. I don't think they can get two. A toss behind the back. On to first, and there were two down. The pitcher, David Bednar. Up next for the Buckos, David Bednar. Looking to wiggle out of this, here it is. Cold strike at the letters, 0 and 1. Got to think he was sitting fastball right there to let that hanger go by. He won't see that pitch again the rest of the season. The 0-1 offering. Hey, I know it's the pitcher at the plate, but he's going to grind it out right here. He's got a chance to help himself, and nothing's a bigger backbreaker to a team than watching the pitcher drive in a run. Pirates pitcher at the plate with a 1-2 and two count. Swing and a miss on a ball way outside the strike zone, and the inning is over. Pirates strand a couple. Played an inning and a half. It's one to nothing. And that brings up the left-handed hitting Travis Shaw. The third baseman, Travis Shaw. ready here's the first pitch swing and a miss 0 and 1 when the pitcher on the mound's establishing this kind of heater you got to come off everything else and find a way to get that bat head in the zone one and one and that one yanked just foul He's going to be thinking about that pitch all night if he doesn't have a big game right here. Pulled his front shoulder and everything went with it. Here comes the one two. Put that in the memory bank. First time he breaks out a curveball right there and it's a pretty good one. Another one two delivery. Now the fastball is right by him as he swings and misses for the first out of the inning. Talk about blowing it by a guy. Jeez, I mean, that fastball was way behind him when the swing came through the zone. I have to think he was looking for something off speed, and he just couldn't pull the trigger on that fastball. Next to bat, Orlando Arcia. As the first pitch to him is in there for a called strike one. He'll enter play here with an average just over 250. Five homers and 33 driven in. Set to deliver the 0 and 1. Into center field, line drive base hit. Batting 
the catcher, Manny Pina. To the plate now, Manny Pina, as he will take a fastball in there at the knees for strike one. In his career, Pina brings a batting average just a little over the 250 mark. The 0 and 1 delivery. Arcia leads off first with one away. Drill down the line. But this will wind up foul. Still 0 and 2. Nothing in two count and the pitch. And oh, a big rip at the curveball, but he didn't get it, and he becomes the second casualty of the inning. No pitcher. Aaron Flower. So now to the plate, Eric Lauer, nope. as the first pitch misses high and inside for ball one. A runner on first with two away. One ball, one strike to count. And he'll lay off a fastball up in the zone here, and that brings it to two and one now. Just behind the fastball there, two strikes now. I think it's about time to choke up on that bat and get that foot down. He's awfully tardy right now. Got him. Milwaukee leaves one. It remains one nothing. So the lineup flips over and digging in Kevin Newman. The second baseman, Kevin Newman. Wheels and deals. Here's the first pitch. Now a swing and a fly ball. And this will not be caught. It's a foul ball. I know that's the spot he didn't want to miss in, but he got away with it. Into the windup. Here comes the 0 and 1. No, that's cool. And he looks at one in there, one and two. Ball two. Here now the two two. Doesn't get the zone. Count full now. Well, you don't see it all that often, but this might be a good time for a three two change. If he can locate it, it's nearly impossible to hit. Now the payoff pitch home. Lifted down the line and left. Something has to give. Here's the payoff pitch. Blind to shortstop, and there's one away. And with one gone for him in the inning, let's check out where these guys sit in the standings. And as you can see, they've got themselves a slim two and a half game lead in the division. One away now in the Pittsburgh third, and that'll bring up Brian Reynolds. Ready with the first pitch, here it comes. Hits this one hard the other way. 
And that is through into right field for a single. So that's now two hits for him here today as he finds the hole into right. And you can see where he ranks on the Pirates team leaderboard. Currently tops on the ball club in that category. Standing in now, Key Brian Hayes. As he takes a cold strike at the knees, it's 0-1. He singled in his first A-B. And that's inside off the plate with the fastball. It's 1-1. One one. Ground ball to second. This could be two. Fielded cleanly. There's one on the first. And for the second time in three innings, they've bounced into a double play. And with this one, the side is retired. Now back to the top of the Milwaukee order. Digging in Tyrone Taylor. He flew out in his last A.B. Here's the first pitch. Hey. He'll take that first pitch strike all day long. If they're going to take 0-0, he's going to pound that zone and get ahead. Much more susceptible down 0-1 than 1-0. Now the pitch. That one misses one. wide. One ball and one strike. Ready with the 1-1 one, one pitch. Heading out towards shallow right. Polanco has a read on it. He's got it one away. The back. The left fielder. Jack Jones. Dropper set. Stepping up is Daniel Robertson. First pitch on its way. Swing and a miss that time. It's 0-1. You could tell by the hitter's balance after that swing that he's seeing the ball really good. His timing is right there. And I expect him to catch something clean. One and, one. and here's a curveball in the dirt that time for a ball. One and one. Hey. Good fastball down around the knees there, taken for a strike. To two, two balls ball. and two strikes two now. I know he missed with a fastball right there, but this guy's arsenal. You can't figure out what he's trying to do. He's got a lot of different directions he could go in right here. He's set. Here's the 2-2. And that misses, so it's a full count, 3-2. Looked like he tried to elevate a fastball on that 2-2 pitch there, but kind of overdid it. With a pitch that high, it's pretty easy to lay off if you're the hitter. This is hit high in the air out toward left center. Reynolds will range to his left as he tracks this one down in left center for the second out of the inning. Up next to the walk. The second baseman. Yes, next to hit, Keston Hiura. Ready to deal. Here comes the first pitch. And who looks like he got the call there on the pitch inside. It's nothing in one. Hey, make no mistake about it. This lineup's going to have to get going and get a little bit more aggressive. This guy's pounding the zone. He's set. Here's the 0-1. Off the plate, ball one. Hey, curveball that kind of backed up on him right there. Might have popped out of his hand. 
just a little bit earlier than he intended. A 1-1 is laid ball off for ball two. two. Hasn't seen a heater yet in this at bat. One might be coming right here. Hit the other way out toward right field. Polanco has a read on it. And the inning is over. Three up, three down for Milwaukee. They're on the short end of a one to nothing score. New inning set to get underway. And next, the dangerous power threat, Bobby Dahlbeck. First pitch on the way. Loud contact there, but it's well foul. This guy's been really on point so far, but it's not getting any easier. He has to get through four, five, and six right here. Now the one and one pitch. Takes a pass and misses. That's strike two. It's not easy to get your barrel to a pitch that high. That can be an effective location as long as he keeps it above the letters. That ball. one misses. And I think a ballpark full of umpires disagrees. It's two and two. Full count. Three and two. Hey, struggling to find the release point of that curveball. That wasn't a very good one. Somehow he's just got to find that feel because that's a pitch he's going to need going forward. Fouled away. Hey, that's just a great mix of pitches right there, and that's what this guy's going to do if he's going to keep this team off balance. Another payoff pitch. Swing and a miss on the fastball, and that's the first down. Opportunity now to peer into the future plans for the Brewers organization as our Road to the Show report spotlights a couple of guys that have been playing very well in recent action. At the plate, Brian Goodwin. Ball. Lays off 1 0. Hit it hard, but lined out in his first at bat. The 1 0. 2 0. I don't blame him for not coming over the heart of the plate. He circled this guy on the lineup card when he got to the yard today. He's been swinging one of the hotter bats in the game. One run, four hits, and one error in the contest for the Pirates so far. Two balls and a strike. Hey, I still believe in my heart the best pitch is a well-executed fastball down and away, and that's exactly what that is. He swings at that. That's off the end of the bat. That's not hard contact at all, and that's an easy out for the defense. Taylor comes on now and makes the catch in shallow center for round number two. The batter, the right fielder, Gregory Base is empty, two away, and the left-handed hitting outfielder Gregory Polanco bats next. First offering, and he fouls this one off. Into the windup, here comes the 0-1. Ball and a strike. There's not too many umpires in the game that are going to ring that first strike right there. That was borderline up, even though it was in the zone. One and two now as that one's fouled off. Looked like he was cheating a heater right there. A little bit too far out in front. Got to find a way to keep his hands back. 
he'll try to get him fishing there, but he won't offer in the dirt, and it's back to even at two and two. Yeah, and if you get a guy flailing at a pitch like that, heck, you're going to go out there and throw that same pitch until he proves he can lay off of it. On the ground to the right side. Throw to first, beats him easily, and the side is retired. Down in order go the Pirates. They lead it one to nothing. Striding forward now, the Brewers' cleanup hitter, Daniel Vogelback. Over one for him here in this one. Number 20. Set and the pitch. The 0 1 pitch. Hey. I liked that he tried to tie him up inside on that pitch, but it was a little bit of a risky situation because if you're off just a little bit, you can end up plunking a guy. That's the last thing you want to do when you've got a guy 0-2. And he lays off it to even the count 2-2. Two and two. That's a good take on a fastball out of the zone. Hey, I get it. He's looking for a ball to drive, but that ball was a little bit too far up in the zone. That's one you normally pop right up. High fly ball out to straightaway center. Goodwin is in his tracks now. One gone. Now batting, right fielder, Abisayu Garcia. So here's Abisayu Garcia. Now the reliever remains in the game here, having pitched very well, but this is a longer outing than what he's used to. It is, Matt, and I really tip my cap to him for gutting this thing out right now. On the other side, I worry they're being a little bit too greedy by leaving him out there. There are options left in the pen, and it would be a shame if all his hard work got undone because he started making some mistakes in location due to fatigue. And this pitch is taken on the inner half for strike one. That's a tough pitch right there. Curveball kind of front hit. Your first move is to bail a little bit and kind of not want to get hit by that pitch. I can totally understand him taking that first strike. And he falls behind 0-2. No runs, two hits, and no errors on the Milwaukee line score so far. Inside, as that perhaps will back him off a bit. One and two. Hey, I get it. He wants to set up that breaking ball down and away. But that 0-2 fastball wasn't even close. The 1-2. One, two. Rounded up the first baseline. And they'll take it to the bag and shelf for the out. Now Chris Stratton will take the ball now as the new pitcher. Number 46. Chris Digging in now for the Brewers, Travis Shaw struck out in his first at-bat. Infield in the overshift here, now the ball pitch. One, no and this is low, ball one. Whoa, two and oh now. Hey, not a good spot to be down two and oh. This guy has some serious pop at the plate. I'm expecting a big hack here. 
And he'll lay the fastball in here to get the count back two to one. two and one. Bases are empty here with two men out. Good fastball as he gets the swing and a miss. Swung on and missed, and that's the final out of the inning. Gone in order of the Brewers. They're down one nothing. Now to the plate, Jacob Stallings. He'll look to light a spark under this lineup that hasn't found the scoreboard since back in the first inning. Yeah, and for me, the story has been the starting pitching they faced. It's been very difficult to rebound and quite frankly dominate after getting roughed up a bit in the first inning of a start. So I'll give him a lot of credit for what he's been able to do. Here it comes. And I know it's cliche and it's tired at times, but a well-located fastball down at the knees is still the best pitch in the game. And a curveball taken for strike two. After two great pitches, he has a lot of options right now. He could bounce something or go elevated fastball. Fouled off. Checked his swing there. Did he go around? No, says the first base umpire. Ball one. Here comes the one two. <laughs> Lifted in the air out towards left center. Robertson arranged to his left as he tracks this one down in left center for the first down. Now batting. Shortstop. Onyo. Cruz. At the plate now is O'Neill Cruz comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ball game. Wheels and deals. Here's the first pitch. And it's fouled away. Hey, usually the second time through the order, you start seeing an incorporation of some more off-speed stuff. But this guy's locating feeling really good about his fastball. Two back to back. Got a ball, one this one's outside quite a bit off the plate that time. Now some movement out in the Milwaukee bullpen. Both the lefty and a right-hander have begun to stretch it out. A one one. Misses nope, ball two. Ball. Count is two and one. One out, nobody on. Three one the count of the Pirates shortstop. One thing that could nag at you as a pitcher is having to work really hard to get a guy that you think you should be able to cruise right through. He's not known for his offensive prowess, but he's putting together a real nice at bat here. The three one. Into right field, that's a base hit. 3-1 fastball, middle cut, and he didn't miss it. That's the fight throughout the course of the game to get yourself into count leverage and capitalize. In now, Chris Stratton. And they'll try to stay out of the double play here as he lays this one down. And you can't ask for much more out of a pitcher than that. The sacrifice works to perfection. Now batting the second baseman, Kevin Newman. Next, it'll be Kevin Newman, runner in scoring position with Sugan. Looking to keep this a one run game, the pitch. He swings and sends it in the air out to left center. And no trouble for him as he makes the catch to end the inning. Pirates leave one. But they're up one to nothing. Back here in Milwaukee as we check in with Heidi Watney. 
Well, Matt, during the break, I caught up with Craig Council, the Brewers skipper, about his lineup's performance so far. And flat out, he told me they just need to put better swings on the ball right now. He said they're searching for ways to drive the ball with some authority because it's just not happening for them today. They haven't gotten an extra base hit yet, so it's been a real struggle getting guys into scoring position. But the key, he said, is not to panic. Sometimes you just have to fight through the downturns and keep your focus and energy high. Okay, thank you, Heidi. Not shortstop. Orlando. Arcia. He's ready. Here's the first pitch. Slow little roller to third. He's got it. And that's out number one. The catcher, number nine. Manny. Pina. Next up, Manny Pina, who went down on strikes in his last at bat. First pitch on its way. Swung on and missed that time. It's 0 1. Now the pitch. And here's a curveball in the dirt that time for a ball. One and one. Oh, and a half swing there on a pitch out of the zone indeed. It's strike two. And a swing and a miss there on a late breaking slider as he set down on strikes for the second time this afternoon. Well, we've seen some really good pitching from these guys in this one. The bullpen has looked sharp and it backed up a nice effort turned in by the starter. These days, pitching has become a full staff effort, and I've been impressed with the job these guys have done so far. Into the box, Eric Lauer, as he will look at a first pitch fastball for ball one. He's 0 for 1 thus far. Skied into very shallow right. He's under it, and that ends the inning. They certainly know how to have a good time in Milwaukee, and I believe this may just be a brand new type of polka. More matinee baseball here on a Wednesday afternoon following this. Freddie Peralta takes over to start the sixth inning on the mound. Number 54. Right here. Digging in, the switch hitter, Brian Reynolds, for his career in this matchup. He's been great, 7 for 10. Here's the first pitch to him. Early swing there as he pulls it foul to the right side. Into the windup, here comes the 0-1. Called strike, and he's behind one and two. Yanked on the ground down the line. But this is a foul ball as the count holds steady at one and two. And he lays off the curveball. Strike three called, and that's going to be out number one. That was aggressive pitching in that at bat, and I like seeing that. He showed all hard stuff until the fifth and final pitch for the strikeout. When you work off your hard stuff, it really opens up your secondary pitches to be more deceptive. At the plate now, Key Brian Hayes. Timing just to tick off there as this one's fouled off to the right. A hit in two at bats for him at this point in the ballgame. Now the 0-1. One and one. Bases are empty, one man out. Now one hit foul over to the right side as the count moves to one and two. 
into the windup and the pitch. Two ball, two strike. And it's another kick. So back-to-back -back strikeout victims to start this relief outing. No problems for him on the mound since he's come out of the pen to start this inning. That's back-to-back -back K's, and he's making it look pretty easy. This has the makings of a good outing so far. To the plate now, Bobby Dahlbeck. As he'll lay off a curveball in the dirt for ball one. No hits to this point. Now the 1-0. Hit on the ground toward the left. And the inning will continue as that's through for a two-out hit. Sometimes you need a little luck. Sometimes you need to get a ground ball with eyes. And that's exactly what happened right there. Into the box now, Brian Goodwin. As he'll take a look at his strike on the outside corner, it's 0-1. His career numbers against this pitcher, he's gone three for eight. Left side. Throw on the second for the force, and the side is retired. One left for Pittsburgh, but they lead it one to nothing. in the box Tyrone Taylor and at this point of the game I think it's clear that the plan of attack against the top of the order has worked yeah and it's usually demoralizing Maddie when the top of the order so-called best hitters are shut down but you know what we can't expect them to carry us every single day somebody in the southern part of this order has got to step up and get this offense rolling now the first pitch and a ball one and oh one, no now the pitch. Hey. Fastball at 94 one miles one. an hour, and it's one and one. Hey, it looks like this guy's going to work in the upper part of the strike zone. It'll be interesting to see if this lineup can adjust to the way he pitches. The 1 1. On the line, that's a base hit in the left field. At the plate, Daniel Robertson. This he'll take a breaking ball too low, and it's 1-0. 0 oh for 2 for him to this point. A 1-0 delivery. Just off the outside that time, laid off for a ball. Throw over to first, and he has to dive, but he's back in easily. Taylor aboard here at first with nobody out. Strike taken up in the zone. Two balls, one strike, and down. Three and one count to the Brewers left fielder. Keston Hiera waits on deck. The three one. A swing and a miss and that'll fill the count at three and two. Hey it's tough when your team is being held scoreless on the scoreboard. He was trying to put him on the board with a swing like that one. Now the three and two pitch. Hit back up the middle. That's through when he's got his first base hit. He's one for three. 
Well, that's what's difficult about pitching. You have a guy that's up there swinging. Pitch before this takes a big swing and almost falls down, and then he shortens it up and hits a base hit right on the next pitch. Yeah, Dan, that's what we call the old bait and switch right there. You try to go deep, count leverage, get to two strikes, shorten up and do your job. So now to the plate, Keston Hiura, as he looks at a fastball that's in there for strike one. Lifetime versus this arm. He's gone two for six. Comes set with the 0 and 1. Boy, the Brewers haven't done much up to this point. They need to get something going, and they need to get it going right now. Ready now. Two strike pitch on its way. Swing and a miss as he ran the fastball right by him for the first down. Didn't mess around much in that at bat, Dan. No, that was pretty impressive, man. I really like a pitcher that trusts and works off his fastball. Right there, he decided he didn't need to use anything else. Three straight heaters and go grab some bench. Sam Howard comes on now, and this move looks to be all about playing the matchup here. Yeah, and I don't think there's any doubt about that, Matt. They want the lefty-lefty matchup, and that's usually the right move, but we'll just have to see how this plays out. Stepping in now, Daniel Vogelback. Fun attempt, but this one might have too much on it. One there, but wisely, no thought of a return throw, and the inning will continue. That was kind of a high degree of difficulty play that time. You see the off-balance throw to second base, and he couldn't get a lot on it, but they did get the out. At the plate now, Avisail Garcia, as he will take strike one on the fastball here. No balls and a strike. He's 0 for 2 in the ballgame so far. Trying to hold the lead. Here's the delivery. Hey, there's not a lot you can do with a slider breaking down and in unless you catch it way out front. I like the idea of taking it and making the pitcher bring you something a little more hittable. The set and the 1 1. Swing and a miss on a pitch outside. One and two now. Action now in that pirate bullpen as a left hander starts to heat up down there. One and two. Here it is. Fly ball out toward left center field. Reynolds is there and he puts this one away for the third out. So a great job there of working out a potential trouble. Brewers strand a couple. They trail this one one to nothing. Brent Suter is on to pitch from the bullpen now to start inning number seven. Stepping in once again is Gregory Polanco. Lifetime against this particular arm. Pretty average results. Four for 15. Two of those hits were for home runs. Here's the first pitch. one. You know, because this is just a one-run game, this doesn't strike me as a situation where he's going to be working around a guy. I think he's going to challenge him right here. High in the air, carrying well out to deep center. And he's going to have room to put this one away, and that's the first out. Now that catcher, Jacob Stalling. Next, here is Jacob Stallings. It was a flyout for him in his last trip. First pitch of the A.B. now. Fouled away. One out, nobody on. And he fouls this one off. The wind up and the 0-2 pitch. 
On a line, that's a base hit. The bat, the pitcher, Ojo, two. In now, O'Neill Cruz, as the first pitch to him is in there for a called strike one. A hit in two tries for him so far. Aye. Oh, good spot. On the black for strike two. Can't come out of his game plan right here. He knows he's a known sinker baller. I know it was a four seamer right there, but get back to that two seam. It's what his MO is. As a look, now the pitch. Stallings, base runner at first with one out. Oh, two oh, pitches, a curveball that misses one and two. And a fastball blew it right by him, and they're two down. In a double play situation, you kind of expect most pitches to be down in the zone, hoping for a ground ball. So that was an interesting pitch selection to go up in the zone. I think he caught him off guard a little bit. Michael Perez will grab a bat and hit for the pitcher here. a look now the pitch as yes, he'll take a look at ball one they'll come into play here at 319 still without a home run 13 RBIs can't get around quick enough and that'll move the count to one and one A uh, good break to that thing, and it's one and two. Two out with the man at first. Swing and a soft liner. Throw to second for the force out, and the side is retired. Pirates leave one, but they hold a one nothing lead. Michael Feliz gets the call from the pen to take the ball for the home seventh. Number 45, Michael Feliz. Leading off the inning, it'll be Travis Shaw. As they'll look to spark the offense and even things up. No, you're only down one right here, but the exploding stuff that's coming out of the back end of a lot of teams' bullpens. I mean, just north of 95 plus. Stuff diving all over the plate. It's gotten a lot tougher to scratch across runs against these teams' bullpens. Looked like he went around that time. They'll appeal down to third, and yes, sir, it's strike one. Nothing in one count. Here it comes. One ball, one strike. This is why the manager pencils these guys in in the middle of the order. Big spot. Time for them to get back in this game with a couple quality ABs. 1-1. Uh, one, one. Liner in there for a base hit. That base hit was screaming off the bat, and our show track technology more than confirms it. 111 miles an hour was the exit velocity of that line drive.
standing in now, Orlando Garcia. Nope. Ball A one. ball and no strikes. He's one for two in this one. Slider laid off for a ball. Non-competitive pitch right there runs the count to 2-0, and he is ready to do some damage in the box. Hey. Two and one. Ready with two balls and a strike. Runners going. Offered at and missed. Here's the throw. It's high, but a fine play to come down with it at second, and he's out trying to steal a base. Bases are empty. One man out. Tried to fool him with the changeup, but he won't offer at it. Three and two. When you're playing close games like this, base runners mean everything, so he can ill afford to start giving away free passes. Here's a pop-up now, and that's going to land foul. Well, somebody's sitting off speed right here. Only way he was late on that heater is he was expecting another changeup. He takes strike three called on the fastball. Couldn't pull the trigger, and there are two away. Well, that call looked like it was a little in the pitcher's favor, but it wasn't outrageous. Hey, listen, calling balls and strikes is a really tough job, and even the best are going to miss some from time to time, especially when they're sort of borderline like that last one. Not sure the hitter would want to hear that, though. To the plate now, Manny Pena. As the first pitch to him runs a bit inside for ball one. 0 for 2 from him so far in this one. One oh home. High in the air down the right field line. Polanco has a read on it, and the inning is over. Brewers go down quietly. They still trail one nothing. Now the skipper's on his way out toward the home plate area, and I believe that means we're going to have a double switch here. Justin Topa will come on now and he'll slide into the seven spot in the lineup following the double switch. Luis Urias will also come on now as he'll move into the pitcher's number nine hold in the order here on that double switch. Ready to begin the eighth and that'll bring in the second baseman Kevin Newman. Here's the first pitch. Turned on, but that's rip foul down the third baseline. A 1-1 one -one oh, count to the Pirates' leadoff hitter. Pretty good pitch right there. Fastball in off the plate. One of the things you want to do as a pitcher, try to stand those hitters up. This one's flared out toward left. Left fielder coming on. He can't get to it. This one's down. The left fielder, number 10, Brian Reynolds. So now it's Brian Reynolds. As he'll lay off a slider too low, ball one. He's two for three and looking for more here. To short, reined in to second for one on the first, not in time as the umpire was right there to make the call. And kids, this is why you always go hard into second base. Could have been an easy double play ball, but the slide really impacts the throw to first, and they wind up only getting one out on the play. Good, aggressive, legal slide that time.
So now to the plate, Key Brian Hayes. Inside. As the first pitch misses to him, it's ball one. He's got a hit in three at bats to this point. Now the 1 0 is a slider taken for a ball. Reynolds stands at first with one out. Three and oh now. Bobby Dahlbeck is on deck. And that misses ball four. So it's first and second now with only one away. Now batter, the first baseman, Bobby. So here's the cleanup hitter, Bobby Dahlbeck. He's working on a one for three thus far. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. Ball one. There are a couple of points in every game that could decide winning or losing. This is one of those critical spots. Time to make some great pitches. The 1 0. Boy, this hole he's digging on the mound is all his doing. If you can't throw strikes, you're not going to be out there very long. First and second now, one man out. He's fallen behind now, three and one. If he concedes the walk here, he's in real trouble of giving up a big inning. It's not all that bad yet. But dealing with the bases loaded will make it pretty tough to wiggle out of. The 3 1. And he misses again. Ball four. And that's back to back guys now that have reached base via the base on ball. These guys on defense are still within striking distance. But after that walk, one swing of the bat could really blow this thing wide open. So the next to the plate for Pittsburgh, Brian Goodwin. Not much in the way of productivity from him so far, but he's got a chance to come through here in a crucial spot. Yeah, he, it's time now that he has to put the rest of those bats behind it because none of that matters if he can clutch up when it really counts. First offering. Ball one taken just off the inside. This is where you got to empty the bucket out on the mound. Throw your best stuff right here, right now, and try and get out of this. If anything catches outfield grass, this game's probably over. And it's a called strike to even the count at one. Weighing inside with that one, a pretty easy take there. It often becomes harder to hit the zone when the pressure starts to heat up. Called strike two. Hit in the air down the left field line. And another foul ball. Making him sweat out there. The seventh pitch coming up. And 
They were looking to pull third strike. Oh, and a big one there as the bases stay loaded, and there are two gone now. Great spot on that 2-2 fastball. You can't place it on the inside corner any better than that. And as a hitter, there's just not a whole lot you can do with that unless you're looking for it and time it just right. Love seeing a guy that can work the inside with his fastball. Gregory Polanco is at the plate now as he looks at strike one. No hits to this point. Come set the 0 1. Hey, this is a huge pitch right here. It would be demoralizing to watch this inning slip away. Bases are loaded here, two down. Sinker misses, and it's one and two now. One and two, here it is. And he strikes him out. So a missed opportunity at the plate as he strands three runners and the side is retired. Back-to-back -back strikeouts keep him out of danger. More matinee baseball here on a Wednesday afternoon following this. Kyle Frick is on to pitch out of the bullpen in the bottom half of the eighth. Number 30, Kyle Frick. Colton Wong will pinch hit here, and he's the potential tying run. From the stretch. Ball one, no fight. He'll enter play here at 293. Six home runs and 25 driven in. He pops it up. Cruz into shallow center. He gets there and makes the play for the first out. Now batting center fielder, Tyrone. Next to dig in, Tyrone Taylor singled in his last at bat. First pitch of the AB now. At the ball. Count one now action in the bullpen as their closer starts to get loose out there. The 1-0. -oh. Wow, fastball up and in. I'm not sure it was intended to be that far up and that far in. But message sent, beware. 2-0 count, the pitch down low, and the clock thickens here, 3-0. and And he lays off, ball four. So now the potential time run here is aboard late in the game. Next, it'll be Daniel Robertson. He's got a hit in three at-bats to this point. Quick check on that time run at first. From the stretch, here's the pitch. 1-0. Perfect time for a mound visit right here. Just give him a breather, a chance to collect himself and get back to work. The 1 0 is in off the plate. Well, both of those balls have been inside, so if I'm hitting, I'm looking for something I can get my arms extended on. Probably won't come back inside for a third time. Now the 2 0 home. Finds the zone, strike one. Nasty 2-0 slider right there for a strike. No shame in tipping your hat. Taylor leads off first with one away. Oh, 
that now goal. a good pitch around the knees but it doesn't quite catch the bottom of the zone Keston Hiura is on deck popped him up Hayes will have plenty of room as he makes the catch and there's a big out number two now that second baseman so two gone now in the Brewers half of the eighth and into the plate steps Keston Bura quick check on that tying run at first and a dive but he's back in First pitch coming, here it is. A runner on first with two away. Good breaking ball there, laid off for the second strike. Well, you can see he's coming right at this guy, just pounding the ball in the strike zone. He certainly has the advantage now. This guy hasn't even swung the bat yet. Down and away, it's a ball and two strikes. Two and two. Oh, what pitch recognition right there. 90% of the guys are going fishing after that nasty slider. Throw over to the bag, and he'll get dirty, but he's back in safely. Two out with the man at first. I went to the slider to try and get him to chase, but it's full now, three and two. Good spot for an RBI. Put the ball in play with the runner in motion. He could score all the way from first. This is lined to left, and that'll get down for a base hit. So now they'll have runners on the corners with two away. Nice approach by the batter right there. When you know your boy is moving, you start seeing stuff happening out of your peripheral vision. Wait for him to lock in, stay within his at bat, not swing at something outside the zone, and now put it first in the third. So with a left-handed hitter waiting, they'll go to their own left-hander out of the bullpen. Leonardo Rivas will be summoned now to be the pinch runner. Daniel Vogelback will be the first one to greet him now as he'll do so with runners at the corners and two out in the inning. Looking to wiggle out of this, here it is. And, oh, looked inside, but that's ruled a strike, nothing in one. Big spot. Two out, possible tying and go ahead runs on base. Working quickly now as the splitter's in there, 0 and 2. That's the exact spot to lean on as a reliever. As a hitter, you just have to tip your cap and look for the next one. The 0-2. Now a fastball as he just reared up and let that one fly, and the inning is over. A big-time strikeout and some raw emotion as he gets out of the jam. More matinee baseball here on a Wednesday afternoon following this. Leonardo Rivas will stay in the ballgame now as he comes on to play second here. Now playing second base, number 54. Leonardo. Devin Williams enters from the pen to start the ninth inning as he'll try to keep the score right where it is heading to the bottom of the ninth. Nico Goodrum is also into the game as he takes over at short. Now with the plate is Jacob Stallings. It was a base hit last time up. Ready. Here's the first pitch. 
And a check swing. Did he go around? No, says the first base umpire. It's ball one. Who pulled the string and had him way out in front, a ball and a strike. Guess who tipped their hand? They were sitting all over a piece of cheese. He flew open on the front side. One ball. One and two as the changeup had him out in front there. Into the windup and the pitch. And a swing and a miss. Good pitch there for the first down here in the ninth. Yeah, as they say, there's a hole in his swing in that location. So a good job there of exploiting that. That can be real hard for some guys to overcome when teams start figuring out what locations you just can't handle. Into the box, O'Neill Cruz. As he'll take a look at an off-speed pitch here that misses for ball one. Williams is known in part as a reliever with a, a clutch factor, perhaps. An escape artist is another way to put it. Regardless, he seems to be at his best when pressed up into difficult situations, which is kind of what you want out of a bullpen arm. No doubt about it, Matty V. And I call a guy like this troubleshooters. Guys that you can bring into a game with runners in scoring position. They don't panic. They keep the game at a slow pace. And more importantly, they make good pitches to good hitters to get out of tough situations. A ball and two strikes now. Action now in the Milwaukee bullpen as they'll have a right-hander loosen up. It looked like the fastball got away from him there. And this will miss down low in the dirt, so he's worked it full now at three and two. One run game here in the top of the ninth. And he strikes him out as well. So two punch outs to begin the outing out of the pen. Colin Moran will pinch hit here with two outs and the base is empty. First pitch on its way. He'll enter play here with an average just over 250. 11 home runs and 47 RBIs. Strike two. Hey, this could be a huge momentum swing for this team right here. Relief pitcher has come busting through the gates and done his job. Try and get this team back in the dugout where the offense can get rolling. Into the windup. Here comes the 0-2 pitch. Struck him out. So it remains a one-run lead as they head in for their final set of swings. Pretty painless half of the inning, all told. Nothing in the Pittsburgh ninth. On to the bottom half. Last chance now for the Brewers. They trail here 1-0. Richard Rodriguez takes the ball now in inning number nine, looking to close the door. So stepping in is Avisail Garcia. He's going to lead things off in their half of the ninth as they try to avoid the dreaded shutout. It's never a good feeling to get shut out. And over the course of the season, it's bound to happen a few times. They've just been overmatched by good pitching. Here comes the pitch for Garcia. Swing and a liner. Hey, hats off to the pitching staff right here. They've been able to hold a hot hitter in check in game four of this series. Into the windup, here comes the 0-1. And, and that misses 1-1. One one. His career numbers in this matchup. Just a couple of matchups, no hits in two at-bats. One one it was swung on and missed for strike number two. I mean, he's coming right after him, Matty. Three fastballs in a row. The one two.
This one's flared off to the right side. In there, a base hit. So it's a leadoff single that kicks off their half of the ninth. So he waited till the ninth inning, but he comes through here to extend the hit streak. That was close. Yeah, and Matty B, you see that wry smile of him coming out of the box right there. He knew what was on the line. He'd be lying if he did. Yeah, there's a lot of pressure on him because you're walking into that batter's box thinking, I have a nice streak going, and this is more than likely going to be my last A.B. He comes through in the clutch. So digging in next will be Travis Shaw as he'll take a called strike here on a borderline pitch at strike one. He'll be looking for something he could drive into the gap and drive home that tying run from first. Set to deliver the 0 and 1. Nope, that's Man, that's a good take there on that 0 2 fastball. Just missed. He must have a really good eye at the plate. Here's the one and two delivery. Got him. And that's the third time we've written a K next to his name in this one. Really important time for a strikeout there, guys. Tying run at first, so an objective number one is stranding him on base. And now with one out, it becomes a lot more difficult to manufacture that run. Corey Ray will be called upon here to hit with the game on the line. Set here it comes. As with one away, he can't make contact on the first pitch. It's strike one. Ready with the nothing in one pitch. Big swing, but a little dribbler here to the right side of the mound. And he won't even think about second as he'll flip on to first for the sure out. Digging in next, Manny Pena in his career versus this pitcher. He's two for four. First pitch on its way. And he takes a cold strike, 0 and 1. Hey, this offense has this closer in trouble right here. They have to find a way to keep applying pressure. I don't know, everybody top step in the dugout. Get on this guy and make him nervous. Comes set, the 0 1. On the ground to third, right to him. Throw to first will be in time for the final out, and the Pirates will salvage at least the finale in this three-game series as the ball game is over. A single run good enough to do it today. 1-0 the final score. Pittsburgh wrap up their 20th road win of the season. David Bednar gets the win in relief, his second of the year. Richard Rodriguez closes the door for the save, his 26. So that will wrap things up for Mark DeRosa, Dan Fleezak, Heidi Watney, and our whole crew. I'm Matt Vaskersian. You've been watching MLB The Show. For more, head to theshow.com. Here now is our final line score this afternoon. First for the victorious Pirates, one run, eight hits, one error. They left ten men on base. For the Brewers, no run, seven hits, no error. They left eight men on base. Time of the ball game, a swift two hours and 19 minutes. Thank you for joining us here this afternoon. And we remind you to please drive home safe.